I got it. Nice shot. Look, beef cake. Big Bertha. <laughs> you think it's that big? Okay. Uh, a couple of you guys asked for some recipe on some of these stews that I do, so I'm gonna make a quick video. That way I can just send it to all you guys and not have to do a bunch of individual ones. So, this is gonna be kind of like a blade roast stew kind of deal. There it goes. Um, and what I'm gonna start with doing here is I've got deer broth, which we can show some other time how to make. But for now, actually I don't even need to measure that. For now, we're gonna be putting this into our crock pot, which is warming up, because we want this to be a little warm. Um, and you can use beef broth if you don't have uh, deer stock or game stock. So we got some of that warming up. Yeah, there we go. I had to get the cork out, so. All right, now it's out. Now, I, we usually don't measure things, so we're gonna try measuring now, and uh, I may have to adjust this as I do it. I guess let's start with about a cup. Get it in there. Yeah, that's a little more. There we go. And the goal is gonna be, also, I just find some cooking wine. I don't know much about wine, so. I'd look for a cooking wine at a store, look up some uh, recipes that have recommendations for those. There we go. Okay, um, so we're gonna let this warm up while we prep the meat and some of our vegetables here. So we got a bone-in uh, roast here, and the goal with the liquid here is we want it to be about three quarters of the way covering this meat, so you fill it up appropriate to that. Um, and I'm gonna have to cut off this bone because it's not gonna fit in there with it. But you can keep, if you can fit the bone, you can keep the bone or however much the bone goes all the way through. So I'm just gonna cut it right here and throw that in there with it. But we're gonna clean up all the fat and some of this major silver skin. Areas like this we'll leave because that's fine, that'll break down. Um, but just the fat, the sinews in some areas where they stick out. And you want a nice good knife for this. Okay, and we're back. With much effort, we got it done. But, so that's gonna fit now. We're not gonna actually put it in there yet, although we can put the hunk of bone in there because that's just gonna add more flavor when we cook. So, we got it rinsed here. We'll do good salt and pepper. Now, if you can do fresh ground, it's gonna taste better. Okay. Uh, and what you can do while you're salt and peppering there is uh, we can get a pan going over here a little bit of oil uh, if you had like some bacon grease or something too that would make it even better but we are out used it all up a couple of days ago so get some oil here get the pan coated get it uh, heated up and once we get that salt and peppered and this is warmed up we're gonna sear it on all sides before we put it in that crock pot right now that we got our pan good and heated up and our uh, roast here, salt and peppered. We're gonna start to sear it. So we'll lay it down there. And we want to get it good and brown on each side. So while that does that over there, we're gonna keep cutting onions. All right. Well, while that's searing over there, which is probably a little loud, we're gonna get uh, a couple onions out here. And you can do, I mean, onions kind of vary in size. So however many onions you want for this, I'm gonna do three. We got like three medium onions here. We'll get these cleaned up and keep uh, diced into like half inch probably dices or something like that. Eh, probably gonna go a little thicker here because I like onions. All right, so the idea is to get it nice and brown on all sides. So we'll get it flipped here and that's the kind of crust we're looking for right there. Uh, I realize it's probably kind of loud, so I'll talk over here. The idea is to get that thing, um, get a little crust going on all sides of that. Uh, roast over there. Well, that does that. We'll get to chopping up these onions. Alright, so we got our onions chopped up and uh, we'll get some garlic. I already peeled some garlic here, so you can go like I mean, you can really go anywhere between like 10 and 14 cloves of garlic. We like garlic, so this is like 13, 14 cloves, but some of them are small, some are big. So get them peeled, go ahead and get them uh, bruised up here a bit. Alright, so now that we got it 
good and brown. Oops. That's gonna be hot. All right. Now that we got it good and browned here, you can see on all sides that we can. We're gonna put that in here in our warmed stock and red wine going here, and then we can actually add a little more oil to this bit here, and we'll turn it down because we don't need to burn the onions right away. Put a little more oil, get that mixed up, and then we'll go ahead and dump in all of our vegetables here. All right, so we'll go ahead and stir this up and try to pick up some of the uh, seasoning and the crust that's at the bottom of the pan and just cook these for a few minutes here so they start to get a little translucent. Okay, um, I'm not too worried about cooking it through all the way because it's going to happen when we're in here, but uh, once we've got it good and cooked here, we'll go ahead and add that to our deer and our stock here. Um... So, I will add two bay leaves. Let me get these in here. Alright, we're going to do a little rosemary and a little sage. Um, we're going to see what it looks like when we measure this out. I'll start with a teaspoon of rosemary on this first. Oh yeah, that's not going to be nearly enough. We'll run a teaspoon of sage as well. Yeah, let's uh, make that two of each and see what that looks like. We're going to add two teaspoons of pepper in here as well. And uh, we're going to let that cook for a few hours. And uh, as we get closer to when it's done, we can add some potatoes. And if you like carrots, you can add carrots or celery or any of those kind of vegetables. But we'll let us get a little closer to that time. So that way those vegetables don't get all mushy. Here we go. Now in case I forget to mention this uh, later on. We want to be cooking this. Well, you want it to be simmer in here. So if that, your crock pot needs to be on high to simmer, then it's got to be on high. If you can do it on low or medium, then you can do that. We're starting on high right now. Once we get to a simmer, we'll see if a low can hold the simmer. If it doesn't, then we will just keep it on high. And uh, keep an eye on it. I'm gonna check it probably in two hours and then maybe add those potatoes. We'll see how it's looking. So we got, you kind of, I did two potatoes, a carrot, a couple of celery. Um, you can just do whatever looks appropriate for the amount of meat and stew you got going here. Took a little bit out here for a little sample to see um, what we could add to it. Um, I think I'm going to end up adding, we're going to go with, right now, we had a teaspoon of a um, non iodized salt. You can use uh, kosher salt or pink Himalayan salt, whatever salt. Whoops. We're going to add a teaspoon of this right now. Give a little more flavor. And it's looking like we're gonna need a little more liquid, so there we go. I'm gonna add about another cup of uh, broth. And I mean, depends on the size of deer you got. So we'll add this in here, kind of mix this all together and let this go for maybe another hour and a half or so. We'll bury this back under here. There it goes. And uh, let that cook until that gets tender. We want that pretty fork tender pulling off that bone. And uh, I think that's what we all for now. All right, so we ended up going for a little closer to five hours here, but we can pull it out here and see it's kind of fork tender. So uh, we're gonna pull it out, put it in the bowl, uh, let it cool down and then shred it off the bone into some chunks and put it back in the stew here. Ouch. Okay, we got our meat shredded up here, which they ended up being more than I thought. So probably could have used another potato and we'll get it all mixed in here. The rest of it is looking all good and we'll get it a taste here in a little bit and see if we need anything else, otherwise we'll be all set.